Hi, welcome to RP and AI master class. My name is Madan Upadhyay and I am your lead career coach and the lead trainer in throughout this program. So let me congratulate you for taking the first steps towards your career goal. So before I start my session, I would love and I encourage the participants to set up their career goal so that they should be moving into the right direction with my guidance, career coaching and mentoring. So let's get started. In this career coaching program, you will be able to create your clear visible the career objective that you are going to do in next 90 days and you will have the actions along with that but before that I would love to talk to you digital market outlook what are the different roles and responsibility and the high paying roles in 2020 so let's get started and understand that why automation is the future let me share my view on this if you look at, at the large complex the enterprise landscape the if you if you take it the entire ERP plus all the software that is automating the processes and that is helping the organization to achieve the efficiency if you club it all together even though it comes 20 percent of overall the contribution into automation with the advent of the emergent technologies like RPA AI predictive analytics but the rest other 80 percent is being handled by the human with their human intervention and the reason the rationale behind it is that the 80 percent of the data is unstructured and wherever you see unstructured data there is highly likely chance that this requires human intervention and that's where we have to attack to find the opportunity for ourselves so let's understand what the top consulting company or research company is talking about the RPA market is expected to reach 5.9 billion dollar however the artificial intelligence market is expected to reach approximate 390 billion dollar if we club both together it goes beyond 400 billion dollar by 2025 but if you look at that the digital transformation the digital transformation itself is reaching approximate 2500 dollar by 2025 last but not the least the global economic impact of AI is approximate 13 trillion dollar some of the agencies are predicting it will go more than 150 trillion dollar but now the bigger question comes and I'll take a pause that what is in it for you where you should be focusing just think about a moment I'll come back in next 10 seconds my approach and my suggestion to you you should be focusing more and more on digital transformation because it's picking up the industry is looking for digital transformation consultant and this is one of the meaty piece to find a cut into this industry so let's get started so now the bigger question comes the digital transformation is very vast it's very subjective where to get started and its entire automation landscape what is in it for me so if you look at here the automation is surrounded by so many other technology but at this moment we have to focus on RPA NLP chatbot OCR process mining predictive analytics NLG and computer vision but this landscape itself looks very big we should be more focusing on the low hanging fruit where we should get the ROI quickly and then once we'll build the confidence then we should move forward so let's focus on 90 days plan 90 days concrete plan so number one we should be focusing in next 90 days on RPA NLP chatbot and OCR the four technology that is highly demand into the industry domain 
we should be focusing on one and only one domain at this moment in case we are expert into two domain that should be okay but along with technology we have to focus on domain and number three we have to focus on our consulting aspect of the work that could be creating the visibility for ourselves uh, building our uh, our communication and presentation skill and then developing our network so these are the three steps we have to focus in next 90 days to create a quick win for ourselves next so now so far we understood where is the opportunity where is the technical landscape automation landscape let's get started and set up a goal for ourselves that where I should be focusing so first of all you have to pick your role your aspiring role where you are likely to see yourself in next one to three years or maybe next three to five years those roles you have to select and pick up here so the basic guideline is that whatever your experience you do not have to forget all these things you have to leverage your legacy and you have to give a complementary skill set of RPA AI on top of that so my suggestion would be you pick only one suggestion either from business from manager from tech or strategic consulting all these points that you see under each and every item it's just a guiding uh, a guidance for you you can put your own but I am trying to give mine one if you look at that the strategic consulting the red one is mine one where I am focusing and what currently I am doing is digital transformation consultant this is my role and this is where I am inspiring to improve more and more day by day so please put your role here let's move forward once you put your role let me tell you one thing the technology or artificial intelligence or RPA is subjective and in silo without applying on the business domain so you have to focus on one business domain maybe one or two so please select where you have the good knowledge on the business domain so these are the guiding principle but mine one I'm heavily focusing on infrastructure IT infrastructure and security because my business domain I am the digital transformation consultant into infrastructure and security domain please select your business domain one or max two let's move forward once your role and business domain is selected please define your track so my track I am a digital transformation consultant or I am aspiring to become digital transformation consultant into hyper automation or intelligent automation space focusing on IT infrastructure and security domain this is my track where I am working since last three years and I'll work for next 10 years to increase my income 10x and I would prefer you also put your track here let's move forward now when it comes to the biggest confusion comes that when I focus on technology at what level I should be focusing because this is the biggest confusion and myth into the industry that's the reason I have segregated into two parts your primary and your secondary so in case for you you are an operation person or you come from primarily from lead Lean Six Sigma or consulting background uh, process innovation consultant then your primary should be your business domain or uh, uh, your your functional domain and secondary should be technology but if you come from a heavy technical background where still you want to do a bit of coding you want to stay ahead into the technology or you want to more focus on architect role you can focus heavy on technology less on business domain but in case you guys are for business domain you have to focus heavy on business domain less on technology that will understand later but at this moment you classify what is your primary and what is your secondary in my case my primary is technology I heavily focus on RPA AI predictive analytics and on cloud and IT infrastructure and security as a business domain as secondary let's move forward once my role 
business domain my track primary and secondary be defined i need to create the value proposition my vision for myself so if you look at here the second one that is mine one i want to become a digital transformation consultant into it infrastructure and security domain focusing on process innovation using rp and ai so that i can charge my consulting services 50k per day in next one year though i am charging today the same money but i want to focus on this one so that i can charge 50k per day 10 lakh rupees a month it's not a bad money in case i can achieve it so i'll encourage you you also create your value proposition using a smart formula very smart formula so that we can track it and you must achieve the result so what else next think about it your vision is being established now you have a goal in front of you what is next let me tell you without having a action your vision or your idea is not being realized i believe you must be hearing me you must be laughing yeah don't laugh articulate your actions now list down the minimum 10 actions that you wanted to take ahead in order to achieve your result in next 3 months 6 month 9 month and 1 year so that we can track it where you exist so once again before i wrap it up my workshop i would encourage you and excite you to document your minimum 10 actions along with the date 3 months 6 month 9 months and 1 year and we'll track we'll track where do you exist on that day when i'll review your goal so once again let me congratulate you for taking the first steps towards your journey and i wish you all the best thank you very much